when I was 16, I was like, this is like what I want to do. And like, it's crazy when you're living your dreams, you know, and like the, getting the support that I'm getting, everyone's fucking with it. Like everyone it's like, it's, it's, it's interesting. And it's like, it's really hard. It's surreal to me, but you know, it keeps me going. Cause like now it's like, yo, I can do this. This, this, you guys yeah. are just, in the, I'm scratching the surface. Realist podcast on the planet, AMP. Yo, 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 we live. <laughs> Mo Williams. That's good. Thanks for coming, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having AKA me. AKA Basquiat. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking True. a bit before, and he said, I might be Basquiat reincarnated, or I might, who was that <laughs> one? Who'd you say? Moses. Moses. Okay. Sir St. Moses. Follow me on Instagram. Exactly. Follow his IG. <laughs> Sir St. Moses. Why do you feel like that? That's crazy. Um, Bro, it's something <laughs> I've been feeling like, this is real shit. Like, I've been feeling like this since, honestly... I graduated high school and I came out here to LA and uh, I, I don't know. I've just I'm in a Jewish frat. To be honest with you, all my friends are Jewish. Like <laughs> I've been like that's you know that's a part of it. It's just like I've been feeling like I'm Moses. I've been like they call me Mo. I it just went. You know I've been feeling that way for a while. I, I feel like I'm gonna change some shit and uh, you know I love this energy right off the bat. No, no, of course, about of course. Thirty then, like, seconds in. Nah, but listen, and then the Bosky I like that comes from like that look he speaks from my work. Like if you see my art, I can show you some shit after this. But if you see my art, like I've been saying, like I've been hearing, I get resemblance of Bosky uh like just kind of like inspiration wise, you know. But um, it spoke to me. Like, I watched his documentary like a couple nights ago, and then just the way he's like his mannerisms, the way he carried himself, and yeah. like. Just his vision, what he was striving for, like, is it just really spoke to me what was for some vision? reason. I don't know too much about him. I know he's he does like the crown, that famous crown, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that his, isn't that that his the shit? Yeah. shit. Um, the thing is, like, with him, like, it's the same thing I, I try to, like, get by. It's more so, like, I'm trying to bring, like, street art and, like, intertwine it with high-end art or what people perceive as high-end art. I want to bring like the street inside, and and like and that's that's kind of what he was doing. Um, like my art is expressionist, but at the same time, like it can be fine art. But at the same time, I like to see it as like graffiti art or street you art. You know, my bad, yeah. Oh, yes. my bad. My nice bad. No, it's good. <laughs> but, like I like to see it as like graffiti art too. So yeah. it's like it's more of those things. Like I like preaching, like being different. Hence why. I don't like type is like when something I'm going for right now. Right. You know, I try to express that in my art too, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. That's just like, it translates. Like, that's just like, he was different. Like, his message was like, this is me, you know? And like, yeah. when I do my art, like, I love to say like, you know, he can be my inspiration. But to be honest, like, I've been saying this for a while. I don't really have inspiration when it comes to the art because everything I do comes from within me. Like, when I'm painting, like... Uh, it's it's just me it's just my arm and then like the canvas to be honest with you with the paintbrush because like my mind is not even there like consciously bro i'm gone and it's just like yeah. when i finish paintings i even like i step back and i'm just like whoa like i did this you know that's like yeah. i get that feeling like every single time i make a new piece to be honest with you like and every single time i get better i i just started I just started painting. Yeah, like, you got an interesting story. Yeah, so you're yeah. so you just recently got into it. Yeah, it's been about a year now, a year and a half. I've been painting. That's um, crazy. You got a whole brand, like you got yeah, you yeah, got unlike type, pop ups, exactly. Yeah. Everything it's everything's happening fast. Right. So you your know? brand's unlike type, and that started only a year, like a year ago today. You said a year right? ago today. Ish. Yeah. You know about today we started this. Um, we dropped two lines so far. You know, we're doing really well, surprisingly well. You know, we've been engaging a lot of people, like, selling a lot of stuff. You know, it's just, like, it's crazy, bro, because, like, when I was 16, I was, like, this is, like, what I want to do. And, like, it's crazy when you're living your dreams, you know? And, like, the, getting the support that I'm getting, like, everyone's fucking with it. Like, everyone is, like, it's, it's, it's interesting, and it's, like, it's really hard. It's surreal to me, but... You know, it keeps me going because, like, now it's like, yo, I can do this. Just this, this, you guys yeah. are just. In the, I'm scratching the surface. Like, you guys are just, just seeing started, that, yeah. just what what I'm tapping into. Like, what I have in my mind is so much more, and I can't wait to just you know get that out there. Now that I have this like platform to do it, 
You know, it's like I love I'm that. Excited! Bro. I'm so excited to. So what? What made you flip out. that switch though? Because you said you just started a year ago. So like, what? What really? Because uh, it's always been there, right? It's just like uh, you just we decided can say to. That. Um, so I can like <laughs> I can, can like say, say my story. Uh, so like, yeah. in high school, I was a basketball player. Like, Me too, I love ba- I love basketball. <laughs> like, it's, I want my, my passion. Cheers like, to hoop. No, nah, exactly, exactly. Chris, like, cheers to that. Our guy Chris is in <laughs> yeah, here as well. Like, Man, like, I love basketball, so I was a basketball player, and, like, sadly, I got hurt. Like, I tore my meniscus in high school because, like, I just jumped really high. I was I was just going crazy, you know? So, like, it, 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 a blessing and a curse. So, like, I, I, um, so that happened to me, but it was good for me because then I started taking this, like, digital media class, and I started doing Photoshop and shit, and I was like, yeah, I low-key was fucking with it. I was yeah. good at it. My teacher was, like, he recognized that I was, like, I was better than every other student. Like, he was like, you actually can do something with this. And then, like, so I took his class the following year, my junior year. And um, it was then, like, he gave me, like, my teacher, Mr. Osborne. Shout out to Mr. Osborne. I love that guy. He, this is what changed my life as an artist. Like, he gave me fucking a pack of, like, it was, like, Posca or whatever. Those paint markers. These Japanese paint markers. And um, he was like, yo, like, try these out. You might like them. And then, like, he just, I took the box, and, like, literally, I had white Vans on, and I just started drawing on my shoes. Like, mm. I think they're, like, those odd future donuts or some <laughs> shit. Like, it was something, like, it was something weird. Yeah. And um, I was just wearing them around school, like, something I drew on my white Vans, and everyone was just, like, they, they liked them. And it was, like, yo, those are dope. Like, you did that. And, like, from there, like, I started drawing on, like, hats and, like, everything. Got it. Bro, they were fucking with me. So you started drawing on your clothes. Yeah, Yeah. that's that's how I started. And like (laughs) that was and like I didn't think anything of it because like this is like the same time like because I was a good student too. Like I was doing all this other extracurriculars and shit to like get into good college. So like you know like I was like yeah I'm good at this, but I didn't think anything of it until I got to SC. And then um, funny story, I like basically the first time I took. I took acid here. Let's go. College. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so like the I was in, so like yeah. freshman year here, um, my friend randomly just came to my door in my dorm, and uh, he was like, "Yo, you wanna do acid?" And I was just like, "Why not?" I was just like, "Why not?" Like fuck it, <laughs> fucking why not? Yo, it seems a little and different. I'm so fucking happy I did that because that experience changed my life and opened my mind so much. Like how so? What was what was your experience? Take I, me through it. I realized I was an just artist. Just got to talk a little closer. Yeah, no, that's when I realized I was an artist. Like, that that acid experience, like, I was just, like, I just wanted to paint. I just wanted to draw. Like, I was drawing on my pants. I have these white Supreme pants that I, like, I just drew on that for my acid trip. From the, in, from yeah, the trip. On the yeah. trip. Yeah. <laughs> I had, I literally, the whole trip, I was holding these pants in, like, a bag of paint markers the entire time. And whenever I felt like I, like, experienced something dope, I just... It. I have my whole ass experience on the pants. Like it, it tells a message. Oh, it's that's crazy. crazy! Yeah, yeah. It was like my journal for the day. So like, and then like, you still have those? Yeah, so you got, I still yeah, wear them. You should frame those. I or wear something. them in my pop up, bro. Like I, that. Shows are those are gotcha. like monumental to me. And got it. It was just that, like that day, that moment, like when I did that, and like the people are with, like, yo, that this is sick. Like you can do something with this. Like that's when I really started pursuing my artistic like mm. career. But that was like freshman year. And then again, like being in school, like I kind of like, you know, it was in the back burner in my mind, like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. But then I didn't really capitalize on it until that yeah. summer or not even that summer, not even until recent summer when my friend MJ came over to my, it was like summertime. I lived at this place called the Lorenzo. I don't know if you know <laughs> Zoe. it. Yeah, yeah, Zoe, of yeah. So um, it was summertime. It was dry. My roommate was Derek, um, Derek Doran. DT? Um, yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> oh, DT? Yes. That's my fucking boy. That's what I love it. <laughs> so that was I my love roommate. DT. That was my oh roommate my God, at the, during the time. Great. And um, during that time, he introduced me to his friend MJ. And MJ, I thank her because this is when I started actually painting on canvases. Like, we were just, like, smoking, just chilling one day, mm-hmm. and we were just bored. Like, literally nothing to do in the summer. Like, yeah. just nothing. And then she was like, yo, I have canvases in my room. You know, like, like let's just paint. Let's just, like, you know, smoke and paint. Let's just do that. Damn. So she brought the canvases <laughs> down. Yeah. I fucking, like, we just, we painted, you know, like... I worked on, like, the canvas. Like, I don't know. I was into it. I was mm-hmm. just painting. It's my first time using, like, acrylics and everything. And... You know, I ended up making a piece that was the base base design for my episode one designs. Like, like basically Damn, that what I that session? That, that session, my very first painting. Like, story of that I put that on my wall in my apartment, and then my roommate from the fall, 
he's his friend he's from new york so you new yorkers they all know each other that's that you know how that yeah. works yeah, so like fact. you know he like one day he's like yeah my friend's coming over and uh you know he like he's cool and all blah blah yeah. his friend that comes over is my business partner now justin Justin Barlow, oh, he comes in the room and like the first thing he says, cause I put my painting on the wall. He looks up at the wall and he's like, yo, this is dope. Like, you ever thought about doing something with this? And I was just like, yeah. And, and to be honest, the rest is history. We started Unlike Type from that, like that Got design it. from that painting. Is that what's on your, everything. is that what's on your hoodie right there? No, this, That's a different no, one. This is a, um, this is a different design. I love that one. Um, you know what's crazy about this one? <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was on ass since I did this one too. <laughs> yeah, I was tripping, bro. This is, but I love this because uh, I was in the dark. I, like mm. I was painting in like literally just the darkness and um this is what came out of it. And that's what I wanted to do when I was tripping. Like, bro, like Got it. you know, like drugs are like you know, drugs are bad and all. I'm gonna be PC, but whatever. But like, not like, bro, you don't you not can say whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. But like, for real, like, not yeah. really because like, you know. For acid, for example, mm. for like certain people, like I was like artists, like it really opened my mind. Yeah, like it, it was nothing else to it. Like I know people who had bad trips. I've seen people experience bad trips. But, like for yeah. me, it's always a good trip because like I can just express myself. How often painting. do you do it? No, nah, okay. So it was like once every like year. To be honest with you, mm. I've done it. I've only That's done like, it a yeah. few times. Okay, I'm not. I'm not like. You know, <laughs> not I'm not like a hippie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. Like it was a few times. Um, but like, yeah. To that, and that's just me being honest. And like, that's how no, I, I really it, yeah. got into this. Like, it was just a bunch of like realizations from honestly, just like different experience where people were just like, "Yo, like this is dope." You know, yeah. in high school with the hats and shoes, and then I like, you know, I put that back in my mind. And in college, when I did the pants, and then the painting. You know, it's like the painting with Justin was like. That's what I was like, all right, I, this is what I'm about to do. That's crazy. You have, like, and tangible moments where you're like, oh, this is what kicked it off. And no, then, seriously. And, and, like, and I realized that because, like, bro, for me, I am truly grateful to be in the position I am in. I understand the blessings that came my way. You know, I appreciate that every yeah, day. 100%. You know, like, I have a tattoo on my chest that says, live for today, cause tomorrow isn't promised. Mm. You know, and I try to stick by that, you know, every single day and just appreciate every single thing that I have. You know, even if you're in the tough times or the best times, you know. Yeah. I try to keep true to that. So. <laughs> you have a great mentality, bro. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 21. Jeez, I, I yeah. You know, I turned 21 in July. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty young. Yeah, you got a you got a great great outlook, man. I, I love it. It's contagious. Your energy is contagious too. That. And then, Thank so you. where where the name come from? I don't like or, type. Yeah, I mean, I kind of think I like um, understand, but. Man, this is this was my this was my Finsta name at first. <laughs> if, you, if you want me to be if you want to be completely honest with you, like this was my Finsta name yeah. at first. Cause, and I'm saying that because this shit describes me. Yeah. Like and like and all the people who are like me, the people who are different, and the people who who can acknowledge that they are different and appreciate that the difference is good. Yeah. You know, like it's okay to be different. Like yeah. I feel like that's what everyone should realize because. We're all special in our own way. We're yeah. all individuals. We're all one of seven billion people in this world. You know, we're all a gear that it's a system that you know, we all work together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just like what I believe in. And I'm trying to get that message out to other people. Like, unlike type is like, it's more so a movement because this is going to be more than a clothing brand. This is going to be more than art. Right. This is more so a movement of just like, you know, people recognizing that being different is okay. Because once you realize that, then we can eliminate a lot of things. Like, we can... I, I, not even, not, I don't want to bring in, like, these issues, like, depression all this Yo, shit. Let's but, go. Like, but things, let's like... Go. It's more so, like, you know, people... You know, I don't know. It's more so, like, a self-awareness thing. Like, mm. I want people to realize how dope and special you are on that individual level. Mm. You know, like... If I can do this shit, you can do it. You know, I tell my younger siblings that all the time. Like, are you the oldest? I am the oldest. I'm the oldest of four. Of four, you know, I'm the oldest of five. I'm sorry, I have damn. four younger siblings. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, my 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 story is crazy, bro. Um, You're from Chicago, right? I'm from Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Shout out. Born in '98. <laughs> uh, High Park. Shout out to High Park. I love High Park. Uh, that's where I'm from. Um, yeah, man. Like. That's that's basically what I'm trying to get out on the light type. Um, yeah. Is to get people to understand that 
it's it's okay to be different, you know. And like I'm trying to do that with my art because that's the message I get to. I'm like I'm trying to express to with my mm -hmm. art, and like that that's gonna be correlated with the clothing and everything else I'm gonna do with this company. So. That's like the underlying meaning. You know? I love that, bro. So you just had a pop up too, right? Yeah. So how was that? Were you, was that more for like the art piece that, or the clothing piece or it was, it was, intertwined? It was to get the brand awareness. I would say it was to get to get everything out there, just to show people like we're we're established. This is who we are, and we're here to stay. Because to be honest with you, we're doing something that I don't think anyone else is doing. I, I mean, shout out like maybe like Mirakami or something, but like that's like that's still not like. I'm still thinking something bigger, you know? Yeah. So I, that pop-up was to really solidify that we're serious about this, you know, what we're doing, and that, like, we're, we're here. Like, I don't know. That's that's kind of – it yeah. wasn't for the clothes. It wasn't for my art. It was more just for, like, unlike type. Like, we're different. And we had that pop-up at Cookies and Kicks. Shout-out Cookies and Kicks on Melrose. I <laughs> uh, love that store. It's a dope yeah. store. Um, so we had it there, you know, I was – lucky enough to like have like it was a gallery so like mm -hmm. it was a gallery slash like i had my clothes set up too so like got it. you really got, got it. to see a full spectrum of my work because you get to walk through and admire the work the art artwork on the walls and then at the same time you know we had the, the sweaters and like some special like socks and stuff there like just got for it. people to like you know take something back we had stickers too of like my yeah. artwork like passing that out and like Sorry, it was yeah. it was cool it was just really to to get our name out there and really solidify like what we're doing in this industry be industry because like man unlike type is here to stay and like and i really want people to know that because like this isn't this is like this isn't no like bs bro this is like <laughs> this is me yeah like, I love this it. is like some real like love and like expression coming out like i we give zero fucks about the profits and the monies and uh, we don't give a fuck about that like yeah. do we have this vision i have this vision and like that's what we care about and we want to care like and it's about caring about people it's about love it's about all that shit and like we're going to make sure we make that make that happen like I fucking really, love it, bro. You know? Just sitting across from you, I could, I could feel it. I could feel that you energy. Feel the passion, you know? like yeah. it's real. Like it, oo I'm, I'm, it oozes out of you, man. Like it's, <laughs> it's fucking inspiring. But like, appreciate that. So when you say like, like we're here to do do something different in the industry, like what exactly is that thing for you? Like ideally, like long term, I, short term. Okay, so like, like, I think there's like this like this generational gap when it comes to appreciating art. With our like our generation and like the older generation, I think art when it comes to art appreciating like high-end art or just i just think art in general like the way it's looked at i think it's it's more so old-fashioned and mm. that's where i'm trying to make a bridge for that gap where i'm trying to make it our generation high-end art you know i'm trying to like make it like make it cool for kids our age or just not even kids like young adults and kids our age like they like art like you know what i'm saying it's like it's an yeah. old people thing you know and i'm trying to make people realize like we can this is gonna be our shit too like we're we're artists everyone's an artist like everyone is producing art every day when you're fucking on instagram and posting <laughs> on instagram you're like you know really editing in it. pictures and shit like it's like everyone's an artist and like I just want to like bring that appreciation to like high end art, but then at the same time, because there's a gap between the old fashioned, you know, high end art and then mm -hmm. like you know what our generation wants, and I'm gonna bring that shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's more so bringing like the way I look at it is like with my art, like it's like a mix of like street art and I would say fine art. Mm. So at the same time, I want to bring street art inside essentially i want to bring i want to put street art on your walls on your mom's walls or your grandmother's walls and i want to do that <laughs> shit you know what i'm I saying it, yeah so like that's that's what unlike type is about that's what i'm about like bro what like a lot a lot of people don't know but like i, I was an anthropologist like i wouldn't like i was i went into college anthropologist like, yeah i applied to colleges as anthropologists like I, I went to Stanford, like, before college for, like, a, a summer program. I, I oh, published shit. an ethnography, you know, under anthropology and all this stuff. I don't like, know what that is, ethnography. <laughs> <Shit>. Like, <laughs> I did that shit, like, in, Wait, like, what anthropology, is that? bro. It's, 
it's like it's like my <laughs> you know what I study my journal and that and um but what anthropology is I bring it up because like I lo- I study people I love people I love yeah. humans I love interact like human interactions like mm-hmm. I'm a people person so like I definitely use that shit when I'm taking account in, in my art or what I'm doing for the brand or just what I do in general in life like yeah. That's a big part of me. You know, I love people and I love understanding different cultures and bringing people together, you know, because that's just that's just who I am. Yeah, definitely. So you're trying to do that through through Unalike Type, through your brand, through your like art. Like I said, if this is going to be my platform to do it, if this is my opportunity to do it, then I'm going to do it. That's why I was put on this earth. I feel like I have a purpose on this earth. Like Damn, I'm not. You're, you're 21. I'm you not, already know. That's great. I'm not bullshitting you when I say, like, I feel like I'm a... I'm a reincarnation of Moses or Basquiat. Like, yeah, it sounds so fucking foolish, but, like, I, I give no fuck because, like, this is how I feel. I feel yeah. like my soul is someone, you know, it was meant to be someone special on this planet, on this earth right now. And um, I'm going to keep going with that. It's got me this far, so. Wow, I, I fucking love that, bro. You could, you could, feel, yeah, you could feel it ooze out of you. Man. Yeah, t- take a sip of that. I know you've been, waiting, you've been waiting to sip that. Um, but yeah, so just like taking a little step back, like how how tough is it to really get your own brand and launch your own brand, like off, oh, man. off the like, ground, right? It's got to be tough. It's it's super tough. Like yeah. that, there's a reason why. I mean, I just started this shit last year. Like, like I said, when I did that my freshman year, when I did that ass trip, mm-hmm. I wanted to do it then and there, but. I did, I'm so glad I understood that patience was going to be the best thing for me. <laughs> like, back yeah. then, like, I was like, I can jump in this now, but to be honest, it's not going to do shit. Like, yeah, like, people think my shit's dope, but I don't think it's ready. I don't think mm-hmm. I'm mature enough to, like, actually go out and put my shit out in the world. Yeah. So, like, what I did with that time was literally just, like, this work. I just, like, I just tried to perfect my craft. I called it mastering my craft from from freshman year to my junior year when we started this like I just like I just kept painting on shoes I kept doing like shit for other like I had clients I was like doing shit for people it was kind of cool like oh like what kind of like styling um, or no like mm. fucking like I would paint on shoes like I do I would do customs <laughs> like with, with acrylic paints like do like dope ass like art literally art piece on your feet like yeah. that's what I'm about like I was doing bags and shit for my friends like yeah. I was dabbling into the art shit but I wasn't doing it for real but the reason why I was doing that was because I knew I wasn't ready I knew I wasn't ready to put my work out into the mm. world and like I knew that it was I'm I'm a good I'm a person who believes in like doing shit like shit happens organically and like naturally yeah, so sure. I, for me my mentality was like the right time and the right place like this is going to happen uh-huh. so I until then I was focusing on making myself better because that's what I control you know Got what I'm saying it. so was there like a specific moment where you're like all right I it's time. Like I'm ready. When Justin the world's came. ready. After so I painted, when, came, when yeah. after, after I painted that first piece on canvas mm-hmm. and had it on my wall, and he just like it, it just gravitated him. Mm-hmm. That's when I realized, like, okay, then th- this is what I, this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. Got you know it. What I'm saying That's this a- is why I'm here because, right? Like I'm a real estate development major, and like, yeah, <laughs> Bro, I, I you're love all over the place. That's what I say. Like, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like love that shit, and like, I, yeah. I love like when I'm learning in school and shit, but like. It's just not what I want to do right now. Like, gotcha. I want to get this degree in real estate because it's what I want to do later on in life. Like, I, I have my goals long, like, long term, and that's a part of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, short term goals, like, it all includes me being either some type of artist, designer, or, like, something of that nature. Because, mm-hmm. like, creatively, my my juices are flowing. And, like, it's just, like, I feel right. like it's my prime of that because I just started. But, like, it's crazy, bro, because every time I, like, make a new piece... Every time I make a new piece, it's better than the last. And I'm just like, well, I don't even know what to expect now. Like, <laughs> that, I, I swear to God, that's me. Like, I, I, I literally just that. said that. Like, I just made this piece that was really dope. I finished it last night. And I'm just like, I, bro, I, like I said earlier, I take a step back and I just like, I can't believe I made this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's getting like even more surreal. Like, the more I paint, like, over time, I'm getting better, learning better, like, more techniques and just getting just better with the brush and, like understanding this because like I didn't I purposely did not go to art and design school I purposely do not want to learn that shit because like bro if I've gotten this far without any inspiration yeah like, just doing me then like the sky's the limit that's right. how I, that's how like, I see it like 100 percent. I like I'm one of those people that's like 
you know, like, those people that people look up to, like, who the fuck do they look up to? Like, nobody. Like, they did that shit. They're yeah. pioneer. Like, I want to be one of those guys. Like, I didn't. I don't need to have inspiration. I want to do some shit that's new and, like, that's, like, people are going to remember me by. And, like, it's hard to do that when you're biting someone else's shit or having inspiration by someone else's shit. That's how I look at it. No, I, and I'm, I, like, a very original type. Like, I love originality. I Like, I'm being you. Like, that's what I'm about. And, like, I really try to push out of my work, like, I don't even like getting on Instagram anymore because like now that I have my own company, like I don't yeah. like I don't want any of that shit to influence what I'm thinking about, what I have creatively because it can and it can dilute what Dude, I'm thinking yeah. about. I think that's such an important message. Especially, I, I don't, I, bro. I I hate Instagram now, and it, <laughs> it it happened as soon as I like shit got serious, fun and like tight. But it's yeah. just like a. Same with, like, buying other clothes. I don't buy other designers' clothes anymore. It's, like, I only wear my shit now. It's, like, it's just that mentality shift that I yeah. feel like is necessary because, like, I don't know, man. That's just... Yeah, well, you I... keep it original. I think you're tapped into something that not a lot of people ever get tapped into, which is, like, shit, like, I can create something that I love and I don't have to listen to anybody else or I don't have to, like, take inspiration from I'm, I'm sure there's people you take inspiration from that are completely out of your lane you know yeah, yeah. and then you're like oh yeah, shit. yeah like, like like i'm gonna be honest with you like i'm not gonna be like oh, i don't have any inspiration let's like yeah. i'm inspired by all the guys like all the chicago guys you know like i look up to kanye west i look up to chicago don c um like i was telling you earlier yeah. like uh lucky mm-hmm. i don't know if you like lucky like guys from chicago chance the rapper like you know just from being from chicago and them doing what they're doing like that's that's me like being inspired by them because i want to aspire to be doing the shit that they're doing because they came from the same place i came from and it's like if they can do it then i can do it i love that yeah like you know so that's that's my inspiration my inspirational figures like that's who i look up to the guys that made it out of chicago and they're doing what they're doing because right that's the path I'm going on, and that's the path you know I want to continue to remain on. One hundred percent. But it's not like you see like a Murakami or a Banksy piece, and you're like, oh shit, like I need to incorporate nah, some bro, of that like, into my nah, stuff. Like, bro, not like, at all. I, yeah. And like my, you know how I said I was a basketball player. So those those values and shit are still there. I'm not like I'm still like I still act like a hooper. I'm still doing like <laughs> hooper shit. Like yeah. I'm still like playing video games and like all that. And then like when I just feel like it, I'm gonna paint. And I just paint something that. You know how that's, I'm just expressing myself. You yeah. know, it's like my journal, you know, my diary. That's just that's just how it is in my daily life. Yeah. So it's it's not really anything different than like my life now. Like I'm 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 just you know chopping or just you doing just like whatever normal kids would, you know my yeah, would do. Like for sure. A lot of it's schoolwork because I'm in fucking college. But other than that, like I would think that like you know being an artist, I would you know like oh, I'd be. No, nah, but it's not like that. It's yeah. just it's just like it's just my diary. It's my journal. That's okay, how yeah. that's how the art is to me. That's what it means to me. It's like an exp- work of expression. Like Got it. But know? is there anything you do to like tap into that? Especially like you're like, all right, tonight I'm just gonna fucking chop it up and then I'm gonna get my paint and the canvas and just go. Or is it just like is uh, it just strike? No, it's because like so I'm a I'm a super emotional guy. I can't mm. believe I'm saying this right now, but like, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and, and I, and I, and I, but like, I I'm a, like, that, I'm a super emotional yeah. guy. Like, yeah. everything I do is emotion based. Like, mm. I'm not even gonna lie. And um, I that's when I that's when I work. You know, when yeah. I when I feel like my emotions, like I I really like, cause I'm also pretty reserved and like in. And nice because I, I don't really like hurting people's feelings and shit so like I tend to hold things in mm. so like and like when I hold things in you know that tends to build up and the best way to express myself yeah. is through art so that's when I tend to do my best work and when I work you know m- most oftenly so that's the best way I can answer that question because like you know, it's I don't really have a set schedule of when I'm going to paint something or when I'm going to work. Got or, it. It's it all comes like it's from me, bro. Like it's when my when my soul is trying to tell me something, then mm. I, I I let them I let them go. Like, like that's how you get you your know emotions how, you out. You know yeah. like people like like Kanye West like with his thing like he has this like his window shirts of like he has like he has iconic figures on like this like a box of like a T-shirt and mm. he's like it's the window to the soul you know from them. And, like, that's how I feel with my art. I feel like 
like when I when I'm painting, that's like that's that window to my soul. Like that's me coming out. That's who I like truly am. Like that's me expressing myself Damn. in the most pure way. You know, that's the window to my soul. So like there's no schedule to that. You know, it's yeah. just like it happens when, when it strikes. happens. Yeah. You know? That's amazing, bro. And it's got to feel good, too, that people, like, really, really mess with it's, that. It's you know? a surreal feel. I still, can't comp- I still can't comprehend it to this day. Yeah. It's, it's weird that, like, man, like, people actually like my work. And, like, that is nowhere near the intentions I have when I'm creating because, like, yeah. I'm just, like... Just trying to get emotions out. Getting, <laughs> getting the shit that's yeah. bottled up. Like, I'm getting it out. And that's just, like, that's how I look at it. And it's just done. Yeah. And then I got people coming over looking at it and, like, man, this is an insane piece like i can't believe you're doing this and i'm just in my head like this is what like i can't <laughs> yeah. believe like it's like it's even like striking this type of thought from people like it's and like a lot of my work is thought provoking and like i that's what a lot of people appreciate about it and i i'm very blessed for that because that's what i want like my i keep my work very abstract because I love I love when people make their own interpretations of it. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Like when they just like think it means this and like yeah. you know, I don't I don't really have any meanings like like you know, deep meanings behind any of the pieces because it's on purpose. It's because like I yeah. see when people look at my work, they like always try to in- interpret it this way and like yeah. in that way. And it's just amusing to me to see what how people like look at this work and yeah. even though like it wasn't even like intended that way. Well, so I think that's cool. like the beautiful thing about art too. It's yeah, even, like art, music, like people make their own interpretations about it. Like sometimes I'll hear a song and I'll be like, "Fuck!" Like that shit hit me this way, and then I'll look up like the genius interpretation. I'm like, "Oh, he didn't mean it like that at all. Like he meant a completely different thing. Like he's just trying to fuck." Like, I'm like, "Oh!" Like, but to me, it's like, "Damn, that hits!" Like the hits for me, you know. And like that's what I think is so dope. Like you're not doing it to be like oh, like, people will fuck with this. Like, you're doing yeah, it because it's just, like, you're just yeah, pouring exactly. this shit onto the canvas. Like Yeah, and that's the beautiful part about it. And that's yeah. the part I, like, really, really, really appreciate. And I that's why I hope that, like, my art career, like, you know, it keeps going and progresses where I can do bigger and better things because, like, I honestly, I haven't experienced a better feeling than just, like, you know, just being me and expressing me, and then people are just like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Like, yeah, you know, it's, it's a it's a part of me. It's like, like the best feeling ever. And like, bro, I started selling art. Like, I when I sold one piece, I sold one piece. I was like, bro, it was it wasn't even that big. It was maybe fifteen inches by seventeen inches. Mm-hmm. Um, I sold it for like thirteen hundred dollars. Shit. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? You know, something like this big. Yeah. I sell for $1,300. And I'm just like, shit, shit's getting real. Yeah, for sure. How do you, how do you like, promote that? Is that on your Instagram or? USC, bro. USC. So family. <laughs> like, my, I love my yeah. friends. My yeah. friends, like, they all love my art. And they, they're all about just, like, showing people, showing their parents, their parents showing people, like, yeah. it's a lot of word to mouth, and uh, that's why I really fuck with the Trojan family for that, because, yeah. like, bro, a lot of kids have been really looking out for me in terms of just, like, yo, like, they like my work, and they're trying to get my work out there, yeah. and that's, like, it's super dope, it's super dope, a lot of that, um, I'm building my own website currently, that should be done in a few days, but other, I, there's a couple websites I put my art on, and, like, Instagram, I put it on my social media. Got it. Just like in general, and then like a lot of peers buy them. Yeah. Um, that's another thing I really didn't bring up. Like since um since I started painting, like I've looking made a decent amount of money as an artist, <laughs> which is kind of fucking crazy to think yeah. about. Like in one year, like I've I've sold maybe ten or twelve pieces. Yeah. And like offer a decent price, like I'm not gonna just I'm not disclose that, but like offer a decent price, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's the crazy it, thing too, because you're like it's not about the money, like fuck the money, but no, the, but then the money's it, like, coming. yeah, yeah, it's exactly. The, that's the craziest, you know, like when you're doing something. But like with everyone says this, like you know, when you're doing something you love, yeah. the money comes, yeah. it comes with it, yeah, and like that's the mentality I have. Like I, I'm not focusing on the money because yeah. if I'm gonna do something I love and I'm gonna be fully you know, like 100 percent into it then mm-hmm. like that just comes with it that that's not what you should focus on or your your vision is going to get diluted yeah it's not the same you know that's when people that's when people change up no for sure for sure so you've done two episodes and so why do you call them episodes 
because is it just like I, because on Instagram, I don't know if you've seen the videos. There's like each drop I I film like I not film but I direct like a, a video to really like complete the whole line. I would say it's yeah. like a commercial or whatever. But like I call them episodes because like it's it's like it's a video basically explaining each line and and like it's each line of the season. So like after the episodes you know stack up. So there's episode one we made a, I directed a video for that. Episode two, you seen for uh, for the these sweaters, and then three, four, five, six, etc. But then, like, say when I get to eleven, then that's like season one. You know, like Got it's it. more, it's more you start season two. as a collective Got project. It. You know, like these are just episodes, and I I call them episodes because they're just the the, the visuals of of what I'm trying to like creatively express. Got like it. it's a part of the of everything. Like I don't want people to look at it as just like are like promotional videos or like videos on Instagram or shit like nah like episodes are like that's <laughs> that's like me directing some shit that's like showing you that's just a little tap in cause I'm gonna be getting into the film industry and music industry all that shit like in the future like trust me like these episodes are just like tap ins of like, just yeah. like my creative vision like visually how I wanna present this to you like it's not I call them episodes and I'm giving these videos titles because like it's not just a promotional video like I'm I'm I, this is a part the of the message vision, yeah. you know what I'm saying it's all it's all one so like these episodes are going to build up to build the seasons and and hopefully it gets to like season you know 20 and mm. of like so many episodes and it's an episode also because you know each line is a story like are we, we're not redropping any of this shit everything is a limited number like everything is based on art that I, I how I felt during that time you know yeah. like this so like that's why it's an episode, you know. Got it's it. it's another page of our journey. Love it. So, you, but you said film and music. You want to get into that too? For all of this. Shit, what it, what I'm is that looking tap like? Tap into everything. <laughs> I'm going to tap into everything. Like, bro, I'm trying to get into acting. I'm trying to get into like, do, do I have guys that are trying to do directing mm -hmm. and like in the music side. I want to like over like in the long run. I want to do. I want to do like my own label, but. Mm. Right now, I want to do music management on the like type and like do that and just like I'm, I'm, I want to tap into everything yeah. creatively. So like, you're really just getting started. Like I said, I'm scratching <laughs> the surface. I keep saying that like like yeah. people are like like praising what I'm doing now and it's just frustrating for me because I'm just like you guys don't even know what I have in a bag. This is nothing. Like this is nothing. Yeah. Like it's it's and it's cool. Like I appreciate I'm getting loved yeah. early on, but like. It's a good thing, because, like, when you guys see this next shit, like, you're like, whoa. The shit we have coming out What's next coming month next? Is, is nice. It's usually like, whoa. And like I said, like, everything this time is in-house. Like, we bought all of our machinery, everything. Like, I'm, I'm doing shit with my hands and making sure that every piece is going to be how I envision that shit. And it's, gonna, it's gas. Like, I already have shit designed and, like... Man, I can't wait. I yeah. can't wait for people to see, like... You said your own machinery. Yeah, like, screen press, heat press, everything. Like, the whole nine yards. Damn, so you control all that now. Yes, because they, they... Bro, the manufacturers fucked us last drop. Like, like we were supposed to drop episode two during the summer, but they, they prolonged everything in that mm. process. And, you know, like, we're a new company. We, we learn from it. You know, yeah. there's nothing you can do. We just learn from it and whatever. So... Learning from that experience, we learned, all right, we're cutting out that middleman with these manufacturers and shit, and we're going to do it ourselves. Got it. So that's... that's so who, who do you go to to, like, manufacture that? Like, how do you find you people? You got to talk or? to Justin about that. I don't know, bro. I, like, <laughs> I just, I just I make like, the shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I like to, like, keep it, like, yeah. like, we have a setup. I like to keep shit. Like, I'm the creative director of the company. So, like, co-founder, creative director, and Justin co-founder he's a ceo like cfo like he does all the finance shit like okay and so I, you're the I sole really, creative like and we like trust each other he trusts me like everything i do creatively like he's gonna trust my decision on that and like financially like i i genuinely trust him because with his everything that he's done and everything he's proven to me that like financially like he's a guy like he's like the finance guy like he's yeah. done like some he has a crazy background in finance so I, but that's his story to tell so he's like, more worried about like the bottom line like yeah yeah that. exactly <laughs> and it's, it's a good it's a good way to like run this company like because the best way to do it yeah because like 
it really like me focusing on the creative shit 100 percent like allows me to just you know be myself creatively and then like he loves the numbers and like all that and like he's just like you know he he's able to thrive that way too and it's like for both of us it's good because like i'm also knowledgeable in the finance shit and then like he also knows like creative shit so like we once in a while tap in with each other, like, you know, what's going on, and we both have that understanding. So it's, it's cool, you know, mm. like, you know, having that trust is really good because it's important. Yeah. It, it's, that's why we're, you know, we're still running this shit today. Like, yeah. you know, there's, there's been many situations where we could have, like, yo, fuck this, but, like, no, that trust is, is real. And of course. And yeah, we have a bond now that's, like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be around, mm. like, now, like our friendship is go- always going to be there, but like I'm talking about, we're going to be around as a company for a while because yeah. of just how we're structuring everything and how we're setting up everything, and you know, it's, we're doing everything the right way. Got it. So is it just you two? No, we have a how so, big is your team? Yeah. So it's me and Justin. We have a CMO. Her name is Larson. Okay. Uh, we also have a COO, and that's Austin. Shout out David to Operas. Schwartz. Yeah, exactly. Austin Schwartz yeah. set us up. <laughs> So yeah, so shout like out. yeah, shout out to Austin, bro. He, it's a good so, ass yeah, dude. Exactly, man. I love Austin. It's man. a good ass dude. Um, so like that's our team right now. Mm. So it's four of us. Got it, got it. So you've done you've done three episodes. The third one's dropping soon. We've done two episodes. And the third one's coming out. Third one's coming out soon. So it's all that all that in production. So um, like, basically, yeah. Like starting like this week, like I had to finish my finals and stuff. But Damn. like now, now we're into it. Now we're into it for real. Um, yeah, be be on the lookout for episode three. But even before that, we're gonna drop like mini lines. We might do surprise drops, like just shit like oh, that, shit, because we're about to in. get like that's why you have to follow the page, because yeah. like shit's about to get serious now. We're, we're gonna drop shit like randomly now, or just like as much as we can. Like we're yeah. about, actually about to get products out there for real, and um, I'm I'm really excited because. I have, I'm gonna have my hand on every single one of these pieces. Like, I love that. I love that because, like, I wanted this unlike type to be, like, an extension of my artwork. You yeah. know, like, that that's 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 a part of the vision of this. And um, me having hands on, like, you know, with with every single one of these pieces, like, I feel like that's just like bringing it all together even more. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Well, you like kind of have to too, right? You're the you're the creative, like, exactly. You're the, the mind behind it all right, man i'm so happy man like cause when i was 16 <laughs> man like when i first when i was drawing on my shoes and shit and like yeah this is what i was dreaming about doing when i was 21 you know like yeah. i'm living out my dreams right now this is what i wanted to do and um it's crazy that i have the opportunity to continue this shit yeah bro you're just getting started that's like that's like that's crazy so Cheers like just, just another question just for like you probably don't really think about this because I could I could feel it off you, but like just the competition in in your industry is like there's so many clothing <laughs> companies, you know, like, I don't like think, yeah, I don't think about that. Shit, yeah, I know bro. you I don't. don't. Like, I, how do you just block that out? You're just like, I don't care, bro. Like, it's <laughs> it's like I just generally don't care. Like, more whiskey. I'm focusing, you good? Yeah, I'm focusing on me, like in what I'm doing. Like, it's the same with inspiration shit, bro. Like, right. it, it's it's more it's more so like I'm just. Like, bro, like, that's how that's how your vision gets diluted when you start mm. getting worried about what other people are doing or, like, no, like, they're doing what they're doing because they're being themselves. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. You know, they're being them. So that's how they got to that position. And I'm not going to get to that position by being worried about what they're doing or <laughs> biting not. off what they're doing. Definitely I'm going to get to that position by being myself and continuing to do that shit. So that's why I don't worry about competition. Like, Competition is is everything in life. Everything is fucking competition. Yeah. So like, why would you psych yourself out? It's crazy because you really like you really don't worry about it. Like I could just feel it off you. You know? know, like some people say that, but like you could yeah, tell people, like people they're... think my like I'm just confident, bro. Like the shit I've been through, I'm just confident. You're myself not. You're not cocky. Here. And it's like I, if some people get that shit confused with arrogance, but it's just like it's not. No, yeah, it's just it's like. Not. Like I'm, if it, that confidence is just me being confident in myself and knowing I can do this shit. It has nothing to do with me thinking I'm better than anyone or fuck. Yeah. That's the last thing I think about. Like, 100%. I, I love everyone. I think it's. I, I look at everyone equally. Like, yeah. like dead ass. No matter where you come from, 
rich or poor like i look at you evenly no matter what skin color like that shit doesn't matter to me at yeah. all it's more so like what you do <laughs> right that's what that's well, you what give them the same like you give them the same chance right you know what i'm saying exactly 100 yeah, percent. so like that's where all that shit comes together with like it's, yeah i love that bro and just like touching something from my life like i love mixed martial arts I'm the biggest like Conor McGregor fan. I don't know if you know who that is. But, I know like, who Conor McGregor is. Bro, he's <laughs> fucking, like, but he's like, like they were asking him in an interview, like, like Conor, what happens if you lose? And he's like, honestly, like it, it doesn't, it doesn't even enter me mind. <laughs> yeah. like, I could try, I could try and picture it, but it doesn't even <laughs> enter me mind. And that's like for you, bro. You're just like, you're like fuck it, like, like I don't bro, care about the competition. Like, like I'm just gonna like, and I, that is so like I don't bro, know. Bro. There's I love no hearing other that. Artist, there's no other artist like me. To be honest with you, I don't think there's any other guy. There's no other guy doing what I'm doing. Like there's no other like that's and I know that shit. Like yeah. it's just like you know, it went to, if you know that shit and you really believe in that shit, you don't have to worry about other people or what they're that's doing. Fact. Like I I did the um bro Fact. last All Star game I um like MLB like for for Major <laughs> like League we, Baseball yeah, I'm, okay, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry last All Star game for Major League Baseball uh for MLB they had like this little thing with um Louisville Slugger Fender and like all mm. these like sports brands to like raise money for charities um basically they got an artist from every state essentially every to represent every single MLB team. Mm-hmm. Um, like these are professionals and so-called professionals, blah, blah, blah. Um, basically the LA Dodgers, they chose yeah. me through a plug, shout out Trevor, through a plug. They like, I like was chosen to represent the Dodgers as the artist and like paint a custom Louisville Slugger bat and Holy Fender shit. guitar. Um, and this was like basically the, uh, it was going to auction on MLB and the leading like whoever had the most bids and the highest like you know auction would that money would go straight to charity it would go to like a it was like some foundation partner with the yeah. mlb moral of that story is i was of that pool of artists that represent like every state essentially every team mm-hmm. in the country i was the youngest the most like inexperienced <laughs> out of all of them yeah yet my bat had the most bid. My like my whole set, my artist set had the most bids and sold for the highest. And my proceeds were donated to the charity the foundation. That's so, fucking crazy. You dude. know, it's like you know this. These are like I'm. These are like the the other shit was dope. Like I'm not gonna get that shit was dope as fuck. Yeah. I don't know how mine's was the like the most attractive one too. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. But like I looked like these guys were like 30, 40. Yeah. Like these are like actual experienced professional artists but yet mine was the one that like you know most had the most yeah. bids and sold for the most and like it was at that moment i was like yeah like it's go time i'm special yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah, no one's doing what i'm doing and that's why i say that because like that was that was like that was my test like yeah that was like i'm actually competing against legitimate yeah established Wait, so how artists did, how did you get that opportunity even you said trevor yeah, my friend Trevor, my fraternity. Um, <laughs> yeah, my, my friend Trevor, my fraternity. Like, he uh, recommended me because this guy was like, he worked for Louisville Slugger. That's what I'm saying. We're just plugged up in the Trojan family. So yeah, he worked for, for real, Louisville though. Slugger, yeah. and he was looking for someone. So Trevor showed him my work, and he loved it. So that's why he like reached out to me and was like, "We want you to represent the Dodgers." And you know, the rest was history. I talked to all Damn. the guys. It was crazy, yeah. bro. They really liked my work, and this was early on. Like, I did, I had some amateur shit in my eyes, but like they really fucked with it. Like I'm so much yeah. better now. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's how that that's how that happened. Do you have a and picture of that? Then, yeah, I I, I, have I, I could embed that in the, in I'm the video. You, I'm gonna show you the bat. I'm yeah, gonna show you the bat sure. guitar. But I and like since then it's been like I've been really confident in myself, bro. Cause that no, was on, could, that was on a national level. Like my work 100%. was on a, like a platform, seen millions and millions of people yeah. and. You know they fucked with it. And That's I was really like, all, all right. it took, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, all right, let's. let's I just love go it, bro. Time. It's, it's contagious. Your energy is contagious. I appreciate that. You got Let me this. show you this. So this For was sure. this was it right here. It. And I'll embed this. Yo, <laughs> oh my bad. You did the bat and the guitar. Mm-hmm. Yo, that is so hard, dude. Appreciate that. Fuck yeah, that's crazy. Damn, I'm just looking at these other ones too, my man. Yeah, good. That's fire, dude. How long ago was that? This was 
This was like that was last all star game. Okay, beginning of a semester. So okay. like, yeah, June. Like okay. I think I like sent it in like middle of June. Yeah, and then the last all star game is when they presented it. Got it. And then so from there it's just like. Yeah, like man, just, shit just been happening yeah. since there. Like, I've been selling more work. Like, you know, it's crazy. Like, I don't think about it, bro, but this whole journey this past year has been, it's been really cool, man. Like, it's been, I've been reaching a lot of milestones I haven't been giving, like, myself credit for. You like, gotta, you gotta take those in. Just with that MLB thing and just, like, even selling a piece for over a grand. Like, yeah. this things like that <laughs> as an artist, like, I'm reaching milestones 100%. like artists like strive for over years and years and years, but I'm doing this shit like it's been it's been really quick. Yeah, you got to take those moments in though, you know, like you it's gotta hard, really appreciate I'm, those. I'm always, I'm always thinking about in the future. That's I'm how I'm always I, next. So that's how it's I like think too, yeah. it's really hard to like settle down and just sink in with the shit. But yeah, I so got sometimes you really have to. Like, really, just gotta get a cigar, glass of whiskey, say fuck it, like, cigar, <laughs> yeah, backwood. <laughs> A backwood <laughs> glass of whiskey, maybe some acid. Fuck it. <laughs> Go fucking crazy. Row party, damn. Damn, I miss that shit. Tailgates. Ah. Man, yeah. I mean, tailgates have a booth this year, but. Really? That's a bummer. Yeah, Wait, right. quick question, though. You're, yeah. you're in a Jewish fraternity, but you got a cross on your neck. Yeah, bro. I was raised Catholic. I mean, I'm in a Jewish fraternity, but, like, who gives a fuck? Like, what Are you not Jewish? No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, like, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Wait, think so. Why like, did you join a Jewish fraternity if you're not Jewish? Because, like, so? it's, it, the, I love all you just the like boys the dudes, in the fraternity. Yeah. yeah, like, it just, I don't give a fuck about, I didn't give a fuck about the name. I don't give a yeah. fuck about any of this shit. Like, plenty of opportunities to join plenty of fraternities, mm-hmm. but I wanted to go where, like, I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really really like close boys with like and nothing fake like just like yeah, exactly you know and it just so happens to be a jewish fraternity you know like <laughs> it's fucking fire though <laughs> shout out AE <AFI. laughs> so like that's how it is um yeah like i don't like it's, it goes a part of my whole idea like just what i think bro like i just i don't give a fuck about any of that like, yeah if i fuck with you i fuck with you 100 like, it, it, that's all it is yeah no i love that bro and like i like i said your energy is contagious like you got a good outlook dude like thank you're gonna, you you're gonna go far you're gonna go far i appreciate that bro of course, like bro especially like um man like just like even through the tough times like my art keeps it she keeps me going yeah it's like now like finals bro and <laughs> dealing with all this shit like the stress and everything from that like you you get you get depressed from this school shit sometimes it's like it just gets overwhelming and I'm yeah. just like fuck but like it's nice that I can paint and then yeah I can you just got a good relax outlet. good outlet you know just forget about everything and you know just like even moments like this where like you know like I really appreciate this shit like I course, appreciate bro. this love like that that shit keeps me going yeah you know knowing that people believe in me and that I can do 100%. more like without that. I wouldn't be here. Yeah, just with your mentality, bro. Like you know, that, it's you're not gonna be stopped. That's contagious like, for me. Like <laughs> yeah. I like it's it's yeah. kind of like a video. Like it's like a meter. Like I feed off that shit. And like the like, I don't know. It's weird. Like that's I think that's why I appreciate it so much because yeah. like it's like how I like give off these energies. Like I kind of I receive that energy 100%. too. Like I'm a just I'm a vibe type of guy. Like 100%. I tell people this. Like I tell people this all the time. Like when I first meet people, like I. I don't really have any first impressions. I just like I get vibes. Like I feel their energy. Like yeah. I know if I'm gonna fuck with you or not, just off your energy. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I just feel that shit. So it's just same that can apply that to this situation, you know, yeah. like hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. So I mean we done almost an hour now. No way. Yeah, I know. This shit flies by. I say that every what? time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this shit this shit really flies by. So just like quick kind of like 10 years where do you where do you see yourself like because i know you got the real estate piece too that you maybe want to get into down the line or yeah yeah like 10 years where do you see on a like type like where do you see your art your vision ideally perfect 10 world. years from now because i'm in my 30s so 10 years from now i'm i see myself as a famous artist like my work like Compared to Basquiat type shit, Woo! dead ass, dead ass. So like, <laughs> dead, dead, that, ass, dead ass, dead ass. I love it. But other than that, like, I, I'm, I'm. That's when I'm gonna capitalize on my real estate. 
experience mm-hmm. and um like I tell people like I I want to change the world so when I do real estate developments I want to go to I want to go to countries where like mm. actually need like need development yeah, like, like, like I use, I, I use Acon um is it Acon is the, the, Acon yeah yeah I use yeah, Acon yeah. for example because yeah, he's doing some some good bro yeah. like that's beautiful mm-hmm. that's like the philanthropy that he's doing is fucking beautiful yeah. and like that's what I aspire to do deeper down in my life with my real estate development. Yeah. I want to go, if I can help a community actually develop, then I'm going to do that. That's what I want to do with that. That's what I see myself doing down the line is actually like physically changing people's lives. You know, it's, yeah. instead of like mentally through my art, but like I want to do that shit. Like I actually want to have physical change. I want to do both, <laughs> yeah. you know? So that's what I want to do. I, I see myself like being a big artist, a big philanthropist, mm. but then also just like someone who's like advocating change. Like I, I, yeah. like I said, this this is the beginning. Like I have so much more that I want to get out in this world. You mm. know, I'm a very expressive guy. I'm a very emotional guy, but it, it's it's linked together because mm. like everything that I've experienced and dealt with, I I want to get that message out there for those who are ignorant to it. But at the same time. I love learning and I love adapting in new situations and everything where like I can just incorporate both and and try to like actually implement change like yeah everything I've done was for a reason the anthropology the basketball all the shit like <laughs> all this shit like these yeah. different scenarios these different situations has made me who I am for a reason it's the reason why I can have a conversation with almost anyone it's the reason why I can just be me and then not have to worry about comparing myself to anyone else because I'm so comfortable with myself. You really I, are, bro, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just An like, hour with you, I'm like, damn, this dude's so comfortable and, in his and own skin. It's not for real. Like, yeah. I really try to, like, express that. I, yeah. I love who I am and, and, like, I understand that people, everyone goes through shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, what I want people to realize, like, you go through that shit for a reason because it builds you and it builds your character. <laughs> Like I know, like everyone's fucking parents tell them that shit, but like it, it, it really builds who you are, and mm-hmm. like you gotta appreciate it. Like, and for me, like I wouldn't be talking to you right now if I didn't go through that. Of anything that I've been through, like, cause I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't yeah. be making the shit I'm doing. I wouldn't be doing any of that. So it's just like that outlook on life is what keeps me going. And it's too. gonna take you far too, cause you know when like in the future shit's gonna happen where you're like, fuck, like this is tough, but like. You're gonna get Man, through it. And it's gonna bring you more like inspiration and all that. You bro, know? like everything, like I said, like I'm living my dreams, bro. Like everything I've been doing, like I've called it. Like I've said, I, I said I'm gonna do it. I like I I didn't want to I didn't want to get to that point. I love but, like, it. I'm no, gonna I say, love like, it. I like when everyone doubted that I was gonna get in the USC. Like I knew I was gonna get in. I like I felt it when I first came here. I was like, this is where my home. Like. That doing that, just like this clothing line, like yeah. I all the shit I like, I called. I knew I was gonna do. Like I speak shit into existence. Like, Are you a big law of attraction guy? Yes, I am. <laughs> I can, I am. Yeah, I, I and can like get shout that. out Levar Ball because <laughs> like speaking shit into existence is real. Yeah, Did he say I'm Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> Yeah, for real. Like, dead ass. Zeus? Dead ass. <laughs> but for real, like speaking shit into existence is real. Like I definitely put like. If I want to do something, bro, I'm putting that in the universe because, like, because it forces you to really ca- like act on that shit. Like, I'm, I'm dead ass about that. Like, everything I've done, bro, I've I've spoken into it. Like, it's just like I want to do this, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. Even with this, bro, episode two, like the video, the episode two video, like, is reached almost 3.5 million people and like shit. has like 500,000 views from like Facebook and shit like that like yeah. even that shit like after episode one like I called that like I was like bro like the next video is gonna have a half a million the one after that is gonna have a million like we're on we're on pace for that shit mm. so it's like bro it's just like it's that energy you put out in the universe 100%. like anyone can do it you know it's not unique to me like yeah it's just like that's what fucking drives you but you have that you have that confidence and self-belief that not like not a lot of people have you know and that's it's hella refreshing to see yeah, you sit the, across from it's and, the like, moses the it's moses the basquiat exactly lavar ball declares that <laughs> jesus and zeus predicted lonzo <laughs> is gonna be a laker 
That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, he's wild. I fuck with him though, to be honest. Nah, for a respect, man. Yeah. Respect, man. Respect. All that shit. Lamelo's balling too. He's about to be top three. Like, nah, he's gonna be a number one pick. But yeah. All right. Quick Easy. last question before you get out of here. I know you're a Yay fan. Did you like Jesus is King? No, I like one song on that shit. Bro. Which one? Go Close on Sunday. It. I don't know, the one with the fucking, uh, the card thing, like that sample with the, ding, ding. what song is that, Chris? You know what I'm talking okay. about, bro? I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't listen to it. I kind of fucked fuck? with it, to be honest. You like it? I feel like I'm the only one on the oh, planet. Man. Do you like gospel music? Not really, to be honest. Like, but his shit is just like. What? It's going to age well. His shit always does. I think Life of Pablo true. aged so well. Yeah. I mean, he's a, no, bro, Ye- no, no, no. Jesus was amazing. That's 808? 808s? 808s? Oh, 808s? I like Jesus. I like Jesus more. Like more. Streetlights? Oh that song is fire. I think it's used as gospel. Man, I don't. I don't want to play it on your mic. I don't know. <laughs> nah, you can. I'm good. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. This is the only song I like on this. He's like, Wait, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That shit, this shit goes, this shit goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. That goes. <laughs> but other than that, I don't like anything else on there. Damn. But, like, you haven't heard Lucky, bro. Like, let me show you I who haven't. this guy is. I haven't. Dude, fucking go. This, so this is your is this your biggest music inspiration? Yeah, honestly, I, I, I can, like, at first, it was a point where I couldn't paint anything without listening to Lucky. Damn. I oh, mean, so you, I, so you it, just, you put music on while you're painting. I have to. Have to. I have to like my the music I'm listening to mm-hmm. actually determines the vibe of the paintings I make. Like Got I've it. noticed that too. But okay. I genuinely listen to Lucky because, um, bro, I don't know why this man speaks to me unlike any other artist on guy? this planet. Yet. Mm. and like any other artist on this planet. And I think I think it's because he's a Chicago guy and like yeah. he's from like you know like similar like a similar like area of me. But like so he like speaks the same shit. But Man, I really connect to every single one of his songs. Like, like I damn near like no word to word, like word, <laughs> like word for word, like beginning to yeah. end on like maybe ninety percent of his songs. Like, damn, badass. like ninety percent. I have a playlist on SoundCloud that's oh, like sick, must like three hundred songs, like three hundred so songs. Oh shit. Bro, it's, bro, it's weird. Is he a big artist? Am I, am I tripping? No, nah, he's yeah. underground. Bro. <laughs> I fuck with it. He's on track. off the big day. The big day. Bro, I, that I, album bro, real, though, sucked. Lucky, lucky is underground because he wants to be underground. He could have been made it big if he wanted got to. You. That's all I gotta say. He's a goat. He wants to be the underground legend, and uh, he is underground legend. And long. very soon you're gonna be seeing Lucky and Unlike type shit. I'm calling it now. I'm, he's calling. He's called everything so far. Yeah. On that note, <laughs> Mo, thanks for coming, dog. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Like, it's been a blast. A great time. Hey, bro. like six months, a year, get you back on. See, see what you're talking Please about. Do. Yeah, let's get it. Please do, because then we're gonna be in a different spot by then. Lucky, spot. lucky, unalike type. Exactly. Collab exactly. at that point, <laughs> my dog. IG. Exactly. Thanks for coming. Thank you all. Good night. Be good to each other. Have a nice ride home. We'll see you at the coffee shop tomorrow.